mother the son is written yes returning to the foundation is very very important almost every time every day like siddhu says my success of my life is i made sure that i make a call and my sister and we were very good friends and when the day she got married and went to her husband's house i used to call her morning afternoon evening and night four times sometimes she used to get angry and she used to shout why are you always calling me but i will not get angry sometimes she will not even pick up the call i keep on calling till she picks up that made me to connect to the world and made them to realize that i also is human because siddhu was having cerebral palsy so he said uh, because of that i forced them to uh, talk to me and in that understanding they thought i can never marry so i said i wanted to get married and they were shocked <laughs> and they saw siddhu came to us and he got chandrakali got married he got a kid is now working in a french bank as one of the banker so connecting to your root that's what this story says mother your son has returned every time going back to the root mother means it can be your foundation your joint family your family tree the joint family in the family tree is very very important always whether they like it or not look at siddhu story shown and his mother the 15 story from the zen flesh zen bones written by paul reps shown became a teacher of soto zen when he was still a student his father passed away leaving him to care for his old mother whenever shown went to a meditation hall he always took his mother with him since she accompanied him when he visited monasteries he could not leave the monks so he would build a little house and care for her there he would copy sutras buddhist verses and in this manner receive a few coins for food when shown bought, bought food for his mother the people would scoff at him for a monk is not supposed to eat fish but shown did not mind his mother however was hurt to see others laugh at his son finally she told shown i think i will become a nun i can be a vegetarian too she did and they studied together shown was fond of music and was a master of the harp which his mother also played on full moon nights they used to play together mm -hmm. yes Shon became teacher short Soto Zen when he was still a st student. His father passed away, leaving his him to care for his old mother. Care for his old mother, whether you are a nun, a managing director, a chairman, a professor, a teacher, or, or a politician, prime minister, whoever it is, caring for your mom in the sense caring for your foundation. Never get disconnected. It's like kite flying. When the kite is flying. and we go on the top you start spitting at other people thinking this foundation is bad but you must understand somebody is pulling you the foundation was the one which made you to fly higher and the moment you forget this pull and if it get disconnected you will no more fly everybody know the kite will immediately once it get disconnected from the thread which has been pulled by the foundation by the person the kite will go and fall it looks like it is floating for some time but its death is guaranteed just floats and then falls into somebody else place and is not known hence the foundation reminding you the foundation whether you are a monk a monk is supposed to disconnect like our our swamiji is in in india when they become a, a sanyasi they disconnect they don't even talk to the parents they don't even go back to the houses but in zen they have already reminded them your responsibility is different from your monk food from your uh, from a spiritual life from whichever life from your profession life connecting back to your house is very very important because from the house you have the family you have the love you have the affection and that is the only one place you find the truthful love where you find the truthful conversation where you find the truthful transformation of uh, your intellect your intelligence and from there only you find the total freedom to walk into any room to walk into any place to go and put your head on the lap of your mom or your dad or a sister or brother where that's the only one place you can have a bear hug 
There they never say good touch and bad touch. The moment you disconnect, you have the good touch and the bad touch. You cannot have that freedom to just walk into any house. Even if they don't say anything, you still don't have that house. That foundation is very, very important. Hence, they said, take care. Leaving him to care for his own mother. Whenever Sean went to a meditation hall, he always took his mother. He always made sure wherever he goes, he carries his foundation. He carries his mother means he carries his family. Family means he keeps in touch like how his uh, Siddhu was keeping in touch. That makes him beautiful. Even when his mother, he, he wants to go to meditation hall and he cannot stay with the monks because the mother was there. He used to build his own hut outside, take a house outside and stay with the mother and make fish for her, feed her also. But everybody used to make fun that as a monk, you're not supposed to touch the fish non-vegetarian food and you are making fish and giving to your mom that means you are telling whatever is your culture of your family do not change them in Japan there is a system after the age of 35 do not advise anybody don't change and they won't change instead you find a different mother create another circle don't try to break that circle which they are already there hence the story comes that he has made sure that he made the fish for his mother means Whatever is their style, don't disturb them. But you keep in touch. That keeping in touch is the strength of your spirituality. You would copy sutras, Buddhist verses, and this man received a few coins for food. When Sean brought fish for his mother, the people would scoff at him for a monk. He's not supposed to eat fish. But Sean did not mind his mother. However, was hurt to see others laugh at his son. Finally, she told Sean, I, will, I think I'll become a nun. I can be a vegetarian too. She did and just studied together. Sean was fond of music. And was a master of the harp, which his mother also played. On full moon nights, they used to play together. And mother and son both became an, the sannyasi, they became the spiritual path to the spiritual, and they used to sing together. Means they both used to become one, one understanding. In that one understanding, when they walked together, the whole world understood there's a power of the yin and the yang. And they can always see there's a deeper, there's a light. That means they play together, means whatever. Even when they talk also, they talk in one voice, one strength. That is the strength of the family, the joint family, connects and the family tree. One night, a young lady passed by the house and heard music. Deeply touched, she invited Sean to visit her the next evening and play. He accepted the invitation. A few days later, he met the young lady on the street and thanked her for her hospitality. Others laughed at him. He had visited the home of a woman on the streets. But one day when he and his mom was singing together, one lady on the street invited them to the house, Sean went to the house. Because he should not make a difference, he understood. When you are real in truth with your subject and you're connected, then you will not find a difference whether you touch a girl or not, whether you lifted her from this side and brought her to the other side. That doesn't make difference. You don't differentiate with this as long as you're poor, pure and you're strong. So when you were singing and somebody invited, he just didn't look at the lady as somebody out. The monks are thinking you should not go to that lady, whether she's a prostitute, she's a street lady. That was the connecting link. But Sean and his mother went and the lady was given her a lot of presents and all. When Sean met her again on the street, she used to always bow and say, thank you, thank you for the invitation. And all his monks brothers used to laugh at him, but it doesn't change him. Did not change him. You should not change because you are you are the change for the you asked you are change for the change you asked for. You should be the change for the change you asked for. Means don't disconnect. The day you disconnected, diseases spread. The day you disconnect, you live in poverty. You are the creation of the poverty of the land. Connecting back. Because you get around 800,000 people so love in your family. Don't disconnect from what you are. But continue with your practice without breaking that. So you have yin and the yang. One day Sean left a distant temple to deliver a lecture. Now he is happy his mother also became a nun. So she can stay in the, in the temple with the brothers maybe. Till then he didn't leave. Now he went to give lecture. A few months afterwards, he returned home to find his mother dead. Friends had not known where to reach him. So the funeral was then in progress. Sean walked up and hit the coffin with his staff. Mother, your son has returned, he said. I am glad to see you have, see you have returned, son, he answered for his mother. 
I am glad to Sean responded. Then he announced to people about him. The funeral ceremony is over. You may bury the body. And he went for a distant place. When he came back, he found his mother already dead and the funeral was in progress. So he went to his mom and said, look, mom, I have returned. Yes. And then he answered for his mom. Thank you for returning back. That means keeping in touch. I never left, but I have not attached attachment and detachment. Attachment and detachment. You practice that together. Yes. Then I announced people about the funeral ceremony is over. You may bury the body. I said, yes, now you, have, you can bury the body. When Sean was old, he knew his end was approaching. He asked the disciples to gather around him in the morning, telling them he was going to pass on at noon, burning incense before the picture of his mother and his old teacher. He wrote a poem. For 56 years I lived as best I could, making my way in this world. Now the rain has ended, the clouds are clearing, the blue sky has a full moon. His disciples gathered about him, reciting a sutra and shown passed on during the invocation. So before he knew he was going to die, so he called all his disciples, but he made sure that he's connected back to his mother and his teacher. So he lit a lamp in front of his mother and his old teacher. And by, by the time this, his disciples finished the sutra, he passed away beautifully. Means he melted with the, with, the, with the world. The blue sky has a full moon. Yes. Making my way into the world. Now the rain has entered. The clouds are clearing. Means rain means the, the stress has entered. The clouds are clearing means that I don't differentiate between this and that. I am melted with you. The blue sky is a full moon. Aha, now I could see the full moon. The disciples gathered around him, reciting Sutra. Shun passed on during the invocation. Passed on means he has melted with everybody. It's not about the death. It's about the beauty of connecting back with the mother, with the old teacher and with the disciples. Melting with the disciples, you can always move to another temple. Mother, your son has returned.